do you feel like you spent a lot of your time studying and reading books, reading articles, watching tutorials online maybe when it comes to programming and don't really feel like that information sticks in your brain? Like maybe you got done with a few of these re learning resources and by the time you got done, you're like, I'm not really sure what I even remember from all that. Well, this is a very common problem and a lot of people have reached out to me and asked like, how do I get to memorize things? How do I get information to stick in my head? And so in this video, I want to cover that briefly. So that way you can have a better sense of how to actually make sure that this sticks long term and you get the skill set so you can get into this as a career. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Andy Sterkwitz. I'm a self-taught software developer. I run this channel here. I really make it about high level concepts about how to teach yourself software development. So if you're interested in concepts like that, I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icons to get notifications anytime I put out a new video. The first thing I wanna point out here as we get started is that being a good programmer, being a skilled programmer is not about memorization. Uh, I think this comes a lot from, this idea of memorization comes from school. And growing up, I can remember we had to do Scantron tests and history class, we'd remember all these dates, right? There was like, what was the war of, or this war, when did it start? When did this treaty get signed? When did George Washington do this? It's like, I remember very vividly that I thought memorization of things was important. And so you were rewarded a lot for that in school. Uh, however, when you get into programming, things are a little bit different. Um, there is syntax that you have to learn. You have to understand the syntax of the programming language that you're working on, right? How do you declare a variable? How you, do you declare a function? How do you create an argument in a function? How do you call a function with an argument? What is a parameter? How does it work? What, are, what is the syntax is just one of the most important things when you very first start off. These are like the rules of the language you're using. And what I get a lot from people is like, how do I memorize a syntax so I don't ever have to look it up again? And I get a sense from a lot of people that this is their main focus, meaning they are going to do everything they can to memorize as much as they can. And they feel like they're not ready to even start programming, meaning even doing small problems or uh, like coding challenges or build their own applications because they don't have the syntax down pat. Well, here's the thing. You could know very little syntax and still start creating programs. Like for example, small applications. It's very important to point that out. But you have to understand some of the concepts behind the, your programming language that you're working with. A simple example is a for loop. Maybe that's one of the first things that I find that people learn, especially when they're learning JavaScript, right? What, what is a for loop? Well, if you spend your days uh, your days studying what a for loop is and then you understand what it is, but then you're obsessed with making sure that you have the syntax right, you could have just started using that for loop to loop through data, right? So to loop through an array, so you could go through each item in that array, right? The difference there is that you could have forgotten the syntax after a day or two after you learned it, but then if you had to go use it, you would have had to use it, you would have been exposed to the for loop syntax, and you would have understood more in depth what a for loop is for. Maybe you used it in a different way. And so you get a sense of like when to use certain uh, features of a programming language, like as such as a for loop, or maybe a for each loop, or the higher order functions such as map, uh, reduce, filter. These are different ways to uh, loop through uh, a, an array in JavaScript. And it's much more important to be exposed to that. Memorization is important early on, in the first couple weeks of learning a programming language. But once you get through that and you understand what the idea is behind, let's say a function, right, or a variable or scope in JavaScript, then the most important thing is to use that knowledge in some way. Here's the key. If you want to remember things long term, you just need to be exposed to them over and over and over again, day in and day out. You're not going to feel like you're remembering a lot, but the more that you go through this, like the, the more days you put in, the more weeks and eventually months and years you put into this, especially if you get into this as a career, the more things just get stored in the back of your brain and you just remember it like that. Just to give you a sense of myself, I don't remember every syntax uh, for every programming language that I work with. Um, for example, I don't use SQL as often as I use something like C Sharp and JavaScript. So for me, I actually have to do a lot of Googling for syntax in, in SQL. I use different flavors of SQL. So there's different flavors like MySQL, PostgreSQL, there's also T-SQL, and each of these may have different ways of uh, different syntax for certain things. And so sometimes I have to look them up because I just kind of forget over time and I'm maybe doing it once every couple days or maybe once every couple weeks. So I'll go to Google and I find it really quick. So obviously in this case, memorization wasn't the most important thing. I already understood the basis 
these basics of SQL. I understood what I was trying to do in SQL. And so it was just a matter of looking it up. And that's when they say, when you hear a lot of people say that, you know, being a programmer is just about being a good Googler. That's, that's true, but it's also about like, once you become a good programmer, you just need to know the concepts. You need to understand the fundamentals of programming. And then if you wanna to switch to another programming language, it's just gonna take you a little bit of time to adjust to the different flavor or syntax. And that will come very, very quick. So to get information to stick, here's my suggestion for you guys. If you're just starting out, it's okay to focus more on memorization. It's okay to spend your time just making sure you understand like the syntax of a function, like the syntax of a variable declaration and then use them. Uh, and for another good example, like I said, is the for loop, for each loop. There's many different types of things and features in a programming language. But once you get to the point where you kind of get what these things are, these things that you're using, like what is a variable, then you gotta start using it. That's it, you just gotta start using it. I think the best and easiest way to start doing it is just to run through programming challenges. I've met, mentioned a great website before called edibit.com, which will run you through very small uh, programming challenges. Uh, they have levels from very easy to very hard. You can just start out very easy just to get the feel of programming and like how it works. But the more you expose your brain to these concepts, the more you use them, the more that they get stuck in the back of your brain and you just can't ever really forget them. It's sort of like, it's very similar to riding a bike. Like I can't ever forget how to program now. It may, I may get rusty if I take a lot of time off, but ultimately I understand these concepts and they're sort of there forever, or at least hopefully forever, right? So my point is that use this information. Don't, don't focus so much on memorization. Don't think that you have to memorize every little piece of syntax. Focus more on using these, focus them more on the fundamentals and concepts, and you're going to get a lot more out of it. And you're gonna find over time, you just start memorizing things. If you don't use a lot of what you're learning, like if you're just like using flashcards to memorize, then you may remember the exact syntax of certain parts of a programming language, but you won't ever really know how to use it, or you wouldn't really even understand when it's appropriate to use one feature of a programming language, one tool versus the other. So that's my basic message to you. I hope this is helpful, by the way. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. Let me know what helped and also leave a like as well. But uh, that's really all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, 